everyone, Danny here with Question Pro. Have you ever wondered what part of your website or design catches the most attention? Let's figure out how to solve that question with a heat map. Let's dive in. Now, if you've ever seen a weather report, you can probably tell that this is gonna be based on the same principles. So a heat map is pretty simple. All it is is just showing you exactly which areas are getting most attention with color coding. The darker the color, the higher the intensity of the activity. This helps you quickly see where people are focusing. One type is a scroll map, which is gonna show you how far a visitor scrolls on a page. Another type is an attention map that shows you where people spent most of their time on on your page. Now these next two are gonna involve your mouse. So a click map shows where people click the most, and then a hover map shows where people hover their mouse the most. Pretty self-explanatory. So they're great for things like gathering feedback on website layouts, concept testing, and figuring out which version of your design is best. Now, let's say for example, that a restaurant is gonna be launching a new menu and they wanna figure out which of their items is gonna be the most visually appealing. Obviously, the one that would have the most interaction is the one that they would pick for their menu. Instead of asking an open-ended question, you can get clear visual data on what people like and why. So in the long run, heat maps really help out with saving resources, boost conversion rates, and provide deeper insights. So if you want to understand your audience better by gathering data on your website or design, I would recommend a heat map. Let me know how it goes if this tip helped you out. Also, give a follow if it did, and a like, because why not? See you in the next one.